I just wanted to get away from them fast. I didn't want anyone to know that I was the hobo who had taken the sled. In science, I'm not the greatest student in the world. I know some kids actually like school, but I honestly can't say I do. I like some parts of school like PE and computer class, and lunch and recess, but all in all, I'd be fine without school. And the thing I hate the most about school is all the homework we get. It's not enough that we have to sit through class after class and try to stay awake while they fill our heads with all this stuff we will probably never need to know, like how to figure out the surface area of a cube or what the difference is between kinetic and potential energy. Hey, you guys know that answer. I'm like one who cares. I never, ever heard my parents say the word kinetic in my entire life. I hate science the most out of all my classes. We get so much work, it's not even funny. And the teacher, Miss Rubin, is so strict about everything, even the way we write our headings on the top of our papers. I once got two points off a of homework assignment because I didn't put the date on top. Crazy stuff. When me and August were still friends, I was doing okay in science because August sat next to me and always let me copy his notes. August has the neatest handwriting of anybody I've ever seen who's a boy. Even his script is neat, up and down perfectly with really small round loopy letters. But now that we're ex-friends, it's bad because I can't ask him to let me copy his notes anymore. So I was kind of scrambling today, trying to take notes about what Miss Rubin was saying. My handwriting is awful. When all of a sudden she started talking about the fifth grade science fair project, how we all had to choose a science project to work on. While she was saying this, I was thinking, we just finished the freaking Egypt project. Now we have to start a whole new thing. And then in my head I was going, oh no. Like that kid in Home Alone with his mouth hanging open and his hands on his face. And that was the face I was making on the inside. And then I thought of those pictures of melting ghost faces I've seen somewhere where the mouths are open wide and they're screaming. And then all of a sudden this picture flew into my head. This memory. And I knew what Summer had meant by bleeding scream. It's so weird how it all just came to me in this flash. Someone in home room had dressed up in a bleeding scream costume on Halloween. I remember seeing him a few desks away from me, and then I remember not seeing him again. Oh man, it was August. All of this hit me in science class while the teacher was talking. Oh man, I'd been talking to Julian about August. Oh man, now I understood. I was so mean. I don't even know why. I'm not even sure what I said, but it was bad. It was only a minute or two. It's just that I knew Julian and everybody thought I was so weird for hanging out with August all the time, and I felt stupid. Then I don't know why I said that stuff. I just was going along. I was stupid. I am stupid. He was supposed to come as Bubba Fett. I would never have said that stuff in front of Bubba Fett. That was him. That bleeding scream sitting at the desk looking over at us. The long white mask with the fake squirting blood. The mouth open wide like the ghoul was crying. That was him. I felt like I was going to puke. Partners. I didn't hear a word of what Miss, Mrs. Rubin was saying after that. Blah, 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 science fair project. Blah, 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 partners. Blah, blah. It was like the way grown-ups talk in Charlie Brown movies. Like someone talking underwater. Mwah, 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 mwah. Then all of a sudden, Miss Rubin started pointing to kids around the class. Reed and Tristan. Maya and Max. Charlotte and Zimina, August and Jack, she pointed to us when she said this, Miles and Amos, Julian and Henry, Savannah and, I didn't hear the rest. Huh? I said. The bell rang. So don't forget to get together with your partners to choose a project from the list, guys, said Miss Rubin as everyone started taking off. I looked up at August, but he had already put his backpack on and was practically out the door. I must have had a stupid look on my face because Julian came over and said, Looks like you and your best bud are partners. He was smirking when he said this. I hated him so much right then. Hello, Earth to Jack Will, he said when I didn't answer him. Shut up, Julian. I was putting my loose leaf binder away in my backpack and just wanted him away from me. You must be so bummed you got stuck with him, he said. You should tell Miss Rubin you want to switch partners. I bet she'd let you.